Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're diving into some eye-opening real-life stories about electric vehicles. While EVs are often praised for their speed, cutting-edge technology, and eco-friendliness, they come with their own set of challenges. From charging anxiety to performance issues, owning an electric car can sometimes turn into a frustrating experience. Let's explore a couple of real-life tales that reveal the hidden struggles of EV ownership. Story number four, the hard truth about electric pickup trucks. The debate about the future of electric vehicles is ongoing, but one area where consensus seems to form is regarding electric pickup trucks. Despite their impressive specs, large batteries, rapid acceleration, and ranges exceeding 300 miles, these trucks have faced significant challenges. Electric pickups may look powerful and luxurious, but they struggle with the demands of heavy-duty work. Batteries, while advancing, don't fare well under the strain of heavy use. This became evident in tests conducted by Consumer Reports, comparing the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T while towing. Both trucks performed similarly, with the F-150 Lightning and Rivian R1T each having a range of about 320 and 314 miles, respectively. However, when put to the test with a 10,000-pound trailer, close to their maximum towing capacities, their estimated ranges dropped dramatically. The F-150's range plummeted to 161 miles and the Rivian's to 150 miles. In reality, the F-150 managed just 91 miles and the Rivian only 85 miles. That's less than 30% of the advertised range. Motor Trend's tests showed similar results with the F-150 Lightning towing various trailer weights and achieving between 90 and 115 miles. Even the all-electric Hummer, with its hefty 200 kilowatt-hour battery, couldn't manage more than 140 miles of towing range. This underscores the difficulty of long-range towing, even in areas with well-developed charging infrastructure. Many truck owners have reported that charging stations often can't accommodate trucks with trailers, while range extenders might offer some relief, it might be wise to leave the heavy lifting to traditional gas and diesel pickups for now. Story number three, pulling the plug on Tesla after 18 months. For Gemma from Australia, 18 months of owning a Tesla felt like a long and challenging journey. Initially drawn to the promise of a greener future, she quickly discovered the reality of EV ownership. Her experience highlights the everyday hurdles that many EV owners face. Gemma's story began with a traumatic search for a working charging station in the NSW Southern Highlands. This experience, coupled with ongoing charging anxiety, led her to trade in her Tesla for a more traditional internal combustion vehicle. During these 18 months of ownership, there were so many truths about owning an EV to unpack, Gemma reflected cementing her belief that EVs might not be the panacea they're often made out to be. Her salesman had downplayed the issue of home charging, even boasting about a long-distance drive across Australia with minimal planning. But reality proved otherwise. Like many EV owners, Gemma struggled with the limitations of public chargers and the high running costs of her Tesla. Gemma humorously described her EV experience as a purveyor of emerald-colored dreams turned into a logistical nightmare, ultimately leading her back to the familiar reliability of fossil fuels. Despite her commitment to sustainability, her family has used solar panels for decades. She found the cost and hassle of EV ownership didn't justify the environmental benefits. The final straw was the lack of financial savings. Gemma noted that over 12 months, she saved just $524 on fuel, less than $42 per month. She also pointed out the high cost of EVs and the more modest carbon footprint of hybrids, which require less infrastructure and avoid range anxiety. Her parting thought, anyone wonder why Australia's cabbies prefer the hybrid Toyota Camry? Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Story number two, the challenges of home charging in Borundara. Owning an electric vehicle promises numerous benefits, 
from environmental friendliness to lower running costs. However, these advantages often come with caveats that aren't always highlighted. One such issue is the challenge of home charging, especially for those without off-street parking. For many new EV owners, the assumption is that public charging will be as cost-effective as charging at home. Unfortunately, the reality can be quite different. Public charging can sometimes be more expensive than filling up a gas tank, catching many buyers off guard. This was precisely the case for a Melbourne resident who tried to innovate a solution for home charging despite not having a private driveway. This inventive individual used a fence-mounted fishing rod to extend a charging cable over the sidewalk to his Tesla parked on the street. While this setup allowed for home charging and maintained pedestrian clearance, it quickly ran into trouble. The city of Borundara deemed this configuration a safety hazard, citing the lack of approved solutions for extending charging cables across public sidewalks. Daniel Freer, director of Places and Spaces in Borundara, emphasized that there are currently no approved methods for overhead or curbside EV charging in public streets. Residents without off-street parking are advised to use the expanding network of public charging stations. This situation highlights a significant barrier for those without private parking spaces, illustrating the ongoing challenge of providing accessible and safe charging solutions. Until more effective solutions, such as on-street chargers or innovative charging infrastructure are developed, the only option for many urban EV owners is to rely on public charging stations. This issue remains a key factor in slowing the broader adoption of electric vehicles. Story number one, the reality of road tripping with an EV. Long road trips should be a time for relaxation and adventure, but for some electric vehicle owners, the journey becomes more about finding charging stations than enjoying the open road. Tim and Meredith Budge's experience on a 270-kilometer weekend getaway in their Hyundai Ioniq perfectly illustrates this challenge. Rather than enjoying the scenic countryside, Tim and Meredith found themselves meticulously planning their trip around the availability of charging stations. It's not like we could just pull into any gas station, Tim noted, emphasizing the added stress of having to locate chargers along their route. What was supposed to be a leisurely drive turned into a logistical puzzle. Similarly, Shane Parker's experience at the Bridgetown Blues Festival turned frustrating when his Tesla's charging limitations disrupted his plans. The car dictated the festival experience, Shane said, describing how he spent more time worrying about charging than enjoying the event. These stories underscore a significant hurdle for electric vehicles. Charging infrastructure, especially in less urbanized areas, remains inconsistent. While EVs offer a range of benefits, the challenge of finding reliable charging options can turn an enjoyable road trip into a stressful ordeal. The road ahead, navigating EV ownership. As we've explored, owning an EV can come with unexpected frustrations, from the challenges of towing with electric pickups to the complexities of home and public charging. While EVs have many advantages, they also present their own set of hurdles that must be navigated. Have you faced similar issues with your EV or have other concerns about their practicality? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, for more in-depth automotive insights and updates on the latest in the vehicle world. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.